I first learned about the Tribal Brown and Boot Camp uh, back in 2021 when it was just getting started. And last year, I was fortunate enough to attend a boot camp in Oregon. Um, and the whole reason that it intrigued me is from a digital inclusion perspective. We think that everybody should have access to free internet. That's not always the case, but at least we can get affordable internet, meaning low cost internet, where we're able to have the, um, the choice to have it or not, right? This boot camp is all about providing uh, sovereignty over our land and our networks and our communication resources. GRTI is, uh, is an established telephone and internet service provider company. We've been in existence for 34 years, but we couldn't do it alone. You know, it, we, we always have to work with others to learn from others. And so that's the, the value of bringing the boot camp to Gila River. You tend to forget that there's other people that have some of the same issues and where they could lend a hand. You have to, you know, reach out to them and you have to be able to make those connections so that it makes yours, you know, not seem like it's the only problem in the whole world. You have to remember that there's other people dealing with these same types of things. There's people out there who are doing this professionally to help you. And it's very much needed in the tribal and the native communities because we are, you know, we are on um, areas of land where it's the infrastructure, like the cities is not there. So we have to overcome some of those small barriers. And it was very emotional evident when we had that pandemic hit us. So we were struggling trying to keep information and give it out and disperse it with our tribal community. We have been heavily reliant on consultants and still are um, because we don't have the population size to have a big telecom company that can support multiple skilled staff like um, fiber engineers or wireless engineers. So we're left behind, we're left to scramble and basically overcome the obstacles ourselves. And we're able to learn from other tribes the, some of the challenges that they're facing and the unique ways that they're overcoming those challenges. And we can also share our experiences with them. Uh, so, I mean, it, it does make me, you know, a little, feel a little bit proud to, to show the resources that our community has um, developed and that we can pass that on to others. Again, to just uh, build the community of broadband professionals in Indian country. A lot of the senior technicians are retiring. So there's a big push to get more trained specialists and restaff all of those uh, all of those people that are leaving. We're hoping to see an increase in numbers of native folks who are in the field, whether that's as a fiber install technician, um, outside plant folks, um, central office, people working in the central office, network uh, operations or engineers. We, we want to see more and more native people in those roles. We took the initiative to really make a difference by trying to figure out how to become our own internet service provider. We may not have the skill set to kind of do the RF engineering or the fiber engineering, but we can get uh, an understanding of what's expected from uh, those firms when we work with them. And then when we walk away, we end up, hey, we just made new friends. Hey, we have a new partnership over here. Hey, we have that guy as a backup. So getting that together in the end is part of what's happening here. With our own in-house, expertise of our department. We're lucky and fortunate enough to have the people that are with us today that were able to help overcome those obstacles. You know, people here talk about, okay, um, and then just some of the side conversations I've been having is, is who can they trust, right? They don't just bring them on and say, hey, you know, try this guy, try this guy, try, you know, try this company, try this company. It's like, we use this company. They've helped us. They do a real good job at A, B, and C. Talk to them, you know, and, and they don't push or pressure. It's our job to do that research and, and, and decide if we're going to work with them or not. This is the best opportunity right now. It's definitely a great opportunity to get into and learn something new and to really grow in this uh, industry. I think it's a, it's a very useful tool, a useful gathering and a great bunch of people. It's all intuitive with how we relate as natives. You know, we tend to talk to each other. It's another great avenue, great resource for, for people to, to start getting where they need to go. And start 
you know, going on the internet and looking up these resources and seeing where, you know, where, where can we utilize these things. I hope that in the end with what we're doing as a company, that we reach out and we meet the needs of our customers, number one, and that we do that successfully, continuously, and in the aspect where we're constantly updating. As the world around us continues to grow, we also grow as well.